I'm now going to cover the topic of how to uh, edit the channels on an Edison uh, Argos. Uh, so if I, um, for, for, for the purpose of this particular demonstration, I added on a particular transponder. Um, so we can see, anyway, for particular channel, we have multiple copies of channel 4, and we have the a channels added on in sort of a haphazard um, uh, order, okay? So um, what we'll do is simply at this point, we hit the exit button and put menu button, and what we'll do is we need to scroll over as far as the services button, which is here. Um, and inside there, there's four sub-menus, but one is the one that we're interested in is the organizing services. So we simply hit OK here. And if we come through this thing here, so we, we can make a decision initially, we'd like to delete some unwanted channels. So all I do initially is I just highlight a channel, press OK, and it automatically flicks the next channel, which is a very handy feature. With a lot of um, satellite um, boxes, you actually have to arrow down after highlighting a particular one. But, you know, uh, th this is very handy if you're deleting a number of channels. Just hit OK again, OK, OK and OK. So we've now highlighted five of the six channel fours and I hit use the arrow over button, the arrow to the menu on the right hand side here and it, by default it moves to a move option but that's not what we want. We can lock it so these channels are unavailable to your children uh, or we can come along and delete this particular channel. So what we'll do here now is we simply hit the OK button um, and uh, because we've, hi we've highlighted those channels, highlighted the fact we want to delete and hit OK, those channels have now been deleted. So now we can come to a decision, we'll say, that we'd like to put, for instance, um, Film 4 and More 4 1 at the top of the list. So once again, I've highlighted multiple channels in the one go. I hit Arrow Over and I hit the Move button. Uh, and now you can see that the initial step of that is it pulls together the various channels that I want to move into a single block. So fill them four and move four plus one. And I can arrow up and it'll move them in a block upwards. And once again, just hit the OK button. So you can see there, that's a, it's a fantastically designed piece of software. Makes that type of editing and moving around far, far better um, than on previous boxes. Um, I, I would say probably in that type of respect as a move ahead even of the M-Vision, which is far superior to uh, previous boxes. Uh, and that's it. So the final uh, thing here is hit the exit button and it asks, would you like to save these changes? And I say yes. Now, if you hit no at this point, uh, all the changes you'd have made there will actually have been lost. I've hit the exit button here, and now if I sit and hit the OK button here twice, uh, it'll actually bring up the new menu list here, so you can see it's exactly as we ordered it, and um, which is uh, obviously quite a, a, a neat feature. And that's it beginning to end. How, um, how to sort the channels, basically how to move and delete would be the two main options you'd have.